According to dating experts and marriage counsellors, the one thing that will kill the most relationships this year is this. 100 years ago, when people fell in love, things were completely different. They didn't have thousands of people at their fingertips who they could turn to for a false sense of appreciation when their relationships inevitably got hard. After an argument, they couldn't just pick up a device and swipe through thousands and thousands of apparently flawless filtered faces that live just around the corner, one message away from supposedly giving you exactly what you're looking for. When you scroll through social media, you'll see relationships that look perfect. The long, lovey-dovey posts about being with my best friend, the cute selfies, the romantic anniversary pictures. We see these things, but we never see reality. The arguments, the conflicts, and the difficulties that all relationships have. So our expectations change, and naturally we start comparing our relationships to a false standard. According to dating experts and marriage counsellors, the one thing that will kill the most relationships this year is unmet expectations. And the problem is, social media is making our expectations unrealistic. And the difference between what you expect and what you get equals your level of satisfaction or frustration. These unmet, unrealistic expectations in a new social media world where we live under a false illusion of choice has meant that people are now dipping out of perfectly good relationships in search of that fairy tale relationship that doesn't actually exist. And they will never find it. Social media has made perfect to look normal and therefore good has become disposable. Once upon a time when relationships faced problems, people understood that that was to be expected. They communicated and tried to fix it. But today, if a relationship faces a challenge, People compare it to a false expectation, presume that a problem means they've met the wrong person, they blame that person for not meeting their expectations, throw the relationship away, and go in search of that fictional relationship that social media told them to expect. A study of 12,000 couples proved that people who see relationships as something they have to work on, as opposed to something that is either perfect or wrong, had the happiest, most successful, and longest relationships. They avoided complacency, worked hard to keep it fresh, solved conflicts, and communicated effectively. We are the connected generation, the unsatisfiable generation, the generation who find it incredibly easy to find love, but almost impossible to keep it. We're told that love should be a fairy tale, but ironically, fairy tales might just be the enemy of love. And not just because we look for fairy tale relationships, but because we're looking for them on a fairy tale timeline. Society tells us to get a degree at 18, a job at 21, fall in love by 25 and buy a house by 30, have kids at 35 and retire at 60. The stories of how our lives are meant to be going lead us to make poor love decisions in order to meet fairy tale timelines, and people end up getting into relationships not because they're compatible, but because society has told them that they should be and it's made them scared of being alone. The truth is, one of the other reasons so many relationships are ending in 2018 is because they were created for the wrong reasons and they were never meant to start in the first place. It takes a strong person to remain single in a world that is accustomed to settling with anything just to say you have something. And once you have something, something worthwhile, in 2018 it takes an even stronger person to realise that to not take it for granted and to work hard to keep it.